What's up guys? In this tutorial I'm going to show you real quick how to create a PHP backend uh, with the JSON. And uh, first uh, you need to install something for uh, the server solution and if you're using uh, Macintosh as I am currently you can use the MAMP and install that. If you're using Windows you can use uh, Ma uh, WAMP and if you're using Linux you can use the LAMP server. And uh, the thing is with the stacks that the AMP stands for Apache, MySQL and the PHP and uh, the first prefix L stands for Linux and uh, W stands for Windows and M stands for Macintosh. So uh, with that set up, I'm going to assume you, you know how to set up that. You need to find the uh, root folder for uh, your particular um, scenario. So that kind of depends which uh, platform you are on and so on. And you should be able to Google that yourself. So for example, in, the, in my uh, solution, I have, uh, I have my, in my htdocs document in the MAMP. And uh, for this uh, solution, I'm going to use a folder called PHP Backend. So this is the root folder, htdocs, and this is the PHP Backend. It's the root for the current project that I'm going to display for you. So uh, I'll be using the text that is just sublime text, but you can use uh, whatever you feel like using. It's really uh, up to your own preferences. So uh, after that's set up, you need to start up MAMP. Uh, I currently have my already started. Uh, so for example, if you uh, just search for MAMP, you should start it up. And uh, if I just stop it real quick, and if I start it up, it'll uh, start the Apache server and the MySQL server. And uh, I also can click the open the start page and then I get to a page that looks something like this. And as you can see, I'm at the local host right now, so I'm, I'm not on the, on the internet. And uh, this is an important issue as well, because I can see here what port numbers that uh, my, uh, my MAMP is using. So. Uh, for example, I can see the uh, the passwords for the databases and so on, and also the version, which can be interesting and so on. But uh, more importantly, I can get to the PHP My Admin, and you have to look this up yourself. Also, how to get to your PHP My Admin in order to administrate your uh, databases, and that kind of depends on uh, what solution you're uh, you're sitting at. So, really, but in my case, it's just a matter of clicking right here. And then I get to my uh, PHP in my admin so I can administer my databases. And uh, in order to uh, check so that everything's up and running, I can uh, open my uh, text editor and uh, this PHP backend is the root folder for my project. So in uh, I'm going to assume that you have some basic uh, PHP and this is how you create the start tags and then you can just print echo and whatever and uh, just in order to make sure that things are working and then I'll save it as an index.php file and the extension is important and then I'll save it in my hddoc and in the uh, php backend folder right here so save it and as you can see I get uh, highlighting because it recognizes it as a PHP code. And uh, now if I go to my local, uh, local host, like this, uh, you shouldn't be able to get anything. The default, the, uh, default port is 80 if you don't specify it like this. So uh, good ports to try is 8080, uh, and that doesn't work for me. And good port is 80 as well. And then you can use uh, 8888, which is my uh, ports. And uh, of that, you just type slash and then uh, the name of the uh, folder, which in my case is the PHP backend. And then I should get the file that I just specified. So, for example, if I if I change it to something else here and save it. And uh, yeah, that was uh, that notification was just because I don't have bought the uh, Splam text. You shouldn't be worried about that. So if I save it and then I go to my browser and then I refresh it, I should get my new message. So that's the basic procedure for setting everything up. And if you run into trouble, don't please don't contact me about. Uh, I mean, how to set up 
WAMP and MAMP and whatever. You can just Google that yourself. So, uh, see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.